On today's video, we're going to be looking at the top 10 places in Florida with the most homeless. In 2019, there was almost 29,000 people in the state of Florida that were homeless. That's about 13 homeless people per every 10,000 residents. Only the state of California has a larger homeless population than Florida and many people are calling Florida the next California when it comes to homelessness. These statistics are from 2019. However, since 2020, homelessness has increased dramatically in the entire state of Florida. Many officials are putting out misleading information. So I hope this video can shed some light on the real problem that's being faced in Florida, which is distinct from the problem in California for a lot of reasons. California's homeless population is still four times larger than Florida by percentage. Many officials are trying to attract publicity and growth to their area, and they're putting out misleading information portraying that the region they live in is some type of paradise because of the great work they're doing, when in reality their communities are some of the worst hit in the entire state. Florida is being sold to people as something it's not. The misinformation only contributes to making the problem worse. To come up with this list, we looked at statistical analysis and we also have our real life travels. However, after breaking down the statistical analysis, we found that there are too many inconsistencies with these analytics. Therefore, we're gonna give you a real life explanation of what 10 places in Florida have the worst homeless problem. For example, Key West registered at 2% homeless. When I was in Key West, I didn't even notice a homeless population. To make matters even more complicated, the homeless populations tend to be very transient. They could be in one district today, and as police raids lock it down, they'll move one town over, which means a place can go from completely normal to out of control in a very short period, and then back again to non-existent in a short time, as these populations move from place to place, usually statistics confirm what we already know from real life travels. However, in the case of homelessness, there are too many inconsistencies. For example, the city of Fort Lauderdale registered two times larger homeless population than Orlando, but there are incentives in Fort Lauderdale for homeless people to be registered, while in Orlando, there's incentives to try to cover it up. This is completely my opinion based on my travels since the information that I'm grabbing off the internet and numbers don't add up to the real situation on the ground. Sometimes you just have to read between the lines and understand what's really going on behind those numbers. Especially when the agencies that are behind that information may be linked to some type of motive to either exaggerate or reduce those numbers according to their agendas, motives. In general, in the United States, both homelessness and crime were on a decline all the way up until 2019 for about a decade. However, in 2020, homelessness and crime went through the roof in the entire country. Number 10 is the city of Miami, where almost 1% of the population is currently homeless. Despite having the largest homeless population by number in the state of Florida, when you look at the population of the city, it is a smaller percentage than other places. A vast majority of the homeless population is in downtown, overtown, and main avenues along Interstate 95, along US 41 in Southwest Miami, which means that the vast majority of the homeless people in Miami are not spread out through the entire city, but in specific neighborhoods. And many of the homeless people in Miami don't dress or look homeless. They try to keep uptight. In Miami, looking presentable is important even if you're homeless. And many of the homeless people may be well shaved and well cleaned up. It's just more advantageous and safer for them to do it that way. Number nine is Kissimmee. 
you may imagine that Kissimmee's homeless population is actually worse than what it appears. But it turns out that many of these people are just professional scammers and hustlers and they're not really homeless. If you've ever been to Kissimmee, you've run across these aggressive beggars demanding money. Turns out that a lot of these people actually are not homeless. Nonetheless, there is a real homeless population in Kissimmee, and it is among the worst places in the entire state for homelessness, transient people, and vagrancy. Much of Orlando's homeless population isn't exactly within Orlando's city limits. The same thing happens in Fort Lauderdale, where there's different suburbs and subdivisions, and that helps to spread out the homeless population away from the bigger city cores, and that's happening in Orlando and Fort Lauderdale, and that kind of distorts these numbers greatly. Number eight is Daytona Beach. Daytona Beach is a place that people go to to party and to show off their squatted trucks. It's the type of place that has really everything you would expect a place for homelessness to thrive, from a party scene, to a lot of transient populations, large crowds coming in and out. It's really like a perfect thunderstorm for the city to have a large homeless population. When other states send their residents to Florida to vacation, they're not always sending their best specimens. The city is known to have a huge illicit market with these crowds of partiers coming and going. Daytona Beach pretty much lends itself perfectly to have a large homeless and vagrant population available. Most cities in Florida already have enough problems to deal with. In the case of Daytona Beach, they import problems on the daily. Number 7 is North Fort Myers. Located in Lee County, Florida, this area has always had a homeless problem. However, in the last year, this problem has grown tremendously. Like this guy's belly and his outfit that perfectly camouflaged him behind the ambulance. It's okay, bro. We're fat too. Fat people can make fun of other fat people. The combination of addiction, homelessness, and mental health problems is on display here in North Fort Myers, and it is heartbreaking to see some of the situations that unfold daily on the streets of the city. While the vast majority of people in North Fort Myers are good, hardworking people, in their neighborhoods every single day, they're being faced with difficult situations. And despite good intentions and law enforcement presence, the choice to fix these people's lives lies solely on their own willpower and there's nothing we can do to help them. Number six is West Palm Beach, where the people have the willpower to take your wallet. Known as having some of the most hardcore streets in the entire state, homelessness in this city is interlinked with crime, violence, and addiction. Many of the homeless people are being victimized and the level of savagery that is in play here on these streets is depressing to say the least. Apart from the complications of being homeless anywhere, there's also a level of violence and crime here that the homeless people have to be very alert to. As of now, it is believed that close to 1,500 people are homeless in West Palm Beach. The city of West Palm Beach has resorted to playing annoying soundtracks outside of buildings to deter homeless people from sleeping there at night. Further west into the county of Palm Beach, there's a plague of homelessness in this entire metropolitan area. Number five is Lake Worth, Florida. It is right next to West Palm Beach and up to 1,500 homeless people call this place home. The homeless problem in Lake Worth is so bad that it has started to affect small businesses. They must keep their public restrooms closed in fear that homeless people will go inside the restrooms and either sleep, pass out, or engage in illicit activity. Many tourists will clearly pass on Lake Worth Despite the fact the city has invested millions into a beautiful historic district in a downtown that offers bars, restaurants, and nightlife, none of this is enough to convince tourists to come to a place where you can't even find a public restroom facility available. After recording this footage, we were followed by undercover detectives. Number 4 is Pasco County. 
located just to the north of Tampa. At one time, this was the place to be in the Bay Area. Hey, let's take a little break from this list and talk to a few homeless people and see what they say about their day-to-day -day life. Hey, Jose, I'm Fletcher. Fletcher? Yeah. And what's your name? Dan. Where are we at, guys? Tell me. We're in Naples, Florida. East Naples. East Naples, Florida. We're right out here in the McDonald's Gulf Gate Shopping Plaza parking lot. Bayshore. Bayshore Drive. Yeah. Right off 41. We're having a good time. We just met Jose. Yeah, buddy. Jose's cool as shit. What's the hardest thing about being homeless? Not being able to take a shower and get a Not good being able to take sleep. a shower and get a good night's sleep. Getting a good night's sleep, yeah. Yeah. But do people help you guys at all? Yeah, you, there's a lot of help out here. Okay. Honestly. There is. There's a lot of help out here. Yeah. But there's just nobody can give you a place to lay your head. Yeah. And take a shower and wash your clothes. What am I going to be thinking you're going to do with You're going to use money? it on drugs, yeah. You're gonna go do, you're gonna so go that's why, like me, dope. like I, I want to help people. Everybody yeah. wants to help people, but we're afraid to help people because we think they're going to spend it on drugs. Exactly. So well, you, get, you can get money with magic garbage. I blew that money just as quick as I could. Yeah. You know, because I, I was young and, and I didn't realize that it's not, it's it's not, not going to be there forever. It's not going to be there forever. And after, yeah. after 2008 recession, yeah. everything fell apart. I fell apart. Yeah. And so I... So you would advise people who make money to maybe instead of buying cars and incentive man uh, investments do do something yeah that's, 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 that you're going to be able to look at down the road back to pasco county some of the saddest things that i've seen going through america the stretch of road us 19 from tarpon springs hudson Newport Ritchie. The specific spots are always changing as law enforcement puts pressure in one place, they move to the next. Last time I was on US 19, it had been pushed back as far north as Spring Hill. Regardless of which specific places are having the most problems, in general, this area has historically been known to have some of the worst homelessness and lifestyles you'll find anywhere. Moving on to number three. Orlando. Many years ago, Orlando could have easily been number one, but other areas in Florida have increased in their homeless population. So notorious is the homeless population in Orlando that a movie was filmed at this site called The Florida Project. You can actually buy this on YouTube. It's definitely not something you want to watch with your family, but it is an eye-opening experience to the homeless problem in Orlando. 0.7% of the population here is homeless, and as rent prices increase, it is believed that this number will continue to grow. Just west of Orlando on Highway 50 heading towards Brooksville, and along OBT, and along 192, these are just some of the streets that attract the most homeless people and are known to have a consistent problem with homelessness causing crime and other types of inconveniences for the tourists. Number two is Tampa. If you haven't been in Florida recently, this will surprise you, but Tampa's homeless population is now worse than Orlando by number, and also, it is becoming increasingly scary to be in Tampa at night. Most gas stations and intersections are gonna have a wide array of vagrant people Tampa is really out of control, and despite many realtors trying to push the city of Tampa and invite people from other places to move here, the reality is that Tampa has some of the worst homelessness you'll find anywhere on the East Coast outside of Kensington and Baltimore. And most of the government housing and affordable housing options in the city are being demolished to make room for more expensive housing. Despite the fact Tampa keeps getting expensive every day, it looks trashier and there's even more people on the streets homeless. In fact, there's only a few places within Tampa city limits that are not overrun with homelessness. Places like South Tampa and Hyde Park that are more expensive now have managed to escape the vast majority of the problem. But if you're within Tampa city limits, anywhere off of Hillsborough, Waters, North Tampa, West Tampa, East Tampa, the entire city is filled with people who are homeless, it becomes more expensive, yet the situation just keeps getting worse. I definitely would not recommend to move within Tampa city limits 
unless you're like on Davis Island or somewhere right off of downtown on the South Tampa side, anywhere else in Tampa, it's really getting bad. Unfortunately, doesn't seem like these high prices are making things better. It's actually just leaving more people on the street. And the situation in Tampa right now is among the worst in the state. Before moving on to number one, we're going to get one more perspective from somebody who's homeless. Despite the fact this man was on the streets, many of our subscribers noted that he seemed to be very professional. We met him in Louisville, Kentucky. Let's go there and see what he has to say. We're on Barstown Road at Walgreens, sitting in front of Walgreens. And uh, just sitting back here trying to... Trying to Make a dollar out of 15 cents and everything because it's rough out here. I mean, Louisville has its days. Sometimes it's good, sometimes it's bad, but mostly part of it is is like finding somewhere to sleep at. Because, like, when the temperature drops at nighttime, and then I just walk until I just like get tired of walking. I might sleep behind a building, behind a dumpster, or somewhere behind Speedway, anywhere I can. And be, I might wind up all the way down on towards like Bass for Manor. What Walgreens and stuff. So. They ain't got like a shelter here in the city. They do, but uh, they want you to join the program. And besides being like in the program, you still have to get up like it. It could be like raining outside at six o'clock in the morning. You still have to. Yeah, they got get requirements. It. Yeah, you have to. You still have to get out and leave at six o'clock in the morning. And then like, if you want to join the program or get it a bed or something like that, you have to uh, be there like at for bed kind of like at four o'clock. Sometimes if you don't get a bed, then you go like to a uh, Salvation Army or St. Vincent's the party, they don't have no bed, so you just wind up stuck outside. Be honest with you, compared to Louisville to Alabama, when I was working down there, I should have stayed. I really should have. Yeah. Because I think it was probably one of the most biggest mistakes that I've done was coming back here. Right, because I was working, making good money and everything. And Housing is cheap over there. Yeah, and it, it really is. And I, I met a, I met excellent people that was up there working. They took me in to where they could be like from West Virginia, California. But I'd be like, damn, what's the use of me going back home? They got all this free stuff here. And I was like, man, I don't even want to try to follow in the cinema. My work effort is too high. I like working. I don't want nothing given to me. I'd rather work for it to earn it. And that way, that'll make me have more self-esteem about myself in doing it. Yeah. Some people are like, I could walk down the street and speak to somebody this look like me like I done like I done stole their car before in their lifetime and everything but it's it's just ridiculous and they going around at night just can't even go inside if you ain't got a car you can't even go to a fast food restaurant around here to get something to eat yeah and then the night you could try to like walk up there to the uh drive through window they still won't let you do it because I don't know nobody around here nothing with a car nothing to, like try to get somebody something to eat or something like that Number one is Pinellas County. This is St. Pete, Pinellas Park, and many adjacent communities. This has the highest population density in the entire state of Florida, and that makes it easy for people to be able to fade in despite whatever they got going on. This part of Florida hasn't had the construction boom, which has created work for a lot of people. Since it's an older county, a lot of the buildings are old. There's not a lot of home construction, which is what gives poor people an opportunity to be able to make a little extra money. Before 2020, there was 2,800 homeless people in St. Petersburg, but spread throughout the entire county is a vast homeless population. So why has the Tampa Bay area had a much larger problem with homelessness than places like Jacksonville or even Miami and Orlando? I would love to hear your thoughts and opinions. For one, the city of Jacksonville, despite having almost a million people, doesn't have a massive homeless population, but it is much more affordable with a lot of older houses and less demand for housing. It hasn't really pushed a lot of people to the streets, but Jacksonville is now growing and it may soon join the ranks of these other Florida cities where simple things like having housing are not attainable to everyone. And while there are programs in Pinellas County to help the homeless, not everyone is willing to accept the help. In fact, the year that these statistics were taken, almost a thousand people refuse help, meaning that they want to live in the streets 
or are unwilling to let other people intervene with their situation. What are your thoughts and opinions on this topic that many people in America are concerned about? Hey, you're never far from being homeless. You might think you're doing well, but it doesn't take much to change the world. Just sitting back here trying to, trying to make a dollar out of 15 sitting there thing because it's rough out here. 